and he made the best choice by actually changing something even though I, I love Matu and um, I love him as a person, as a player, but Kuru had stronger, stronger idea that something had to change. In life, what determines your future or your worth is not how fast you take the first punch, but how well you can endure the loss, the pain of getting hurt and recovering. In this story, Crystal's Chronicle will look at Motumba Man and how he has not only gotten hurt deeply, but how, in fact, he has risen from life's pain, from life's struggles. This is Crystal's Chronicle. Make sure you subscribe for more content. So, Matumba Man, first he started out in the pub scene, reaching 9k MMR. He was an acquisition to Kuroki's Team Liquid, and they formed the Unstoppable TI7 team. He played alongside of Kuroki, a legendary player. He played alongside of Miracle. He was their core slash mid laner. He would switch with Miracle when need be. You have to adapt to them and respect what they do and watch them because they're trying to get to you if you're the best. It's like the people are coming for you. So Matumba Man and Miracle, they essentially lead Team Liquid, Kuroki's team, Miracle's team, to a TI7 victory. He wins the international. He's a champion. Now, at this moment, everybody thought, or all the historians of the Dota world, they had written him off. They had said that he was done. He was finished. He had reached his peak, and he will never reach that prime state ever again. Now, due to all the speculation by TI9, Matumba Man was replaced and kicked off the team by Kuroki. It was a sad moment, but he had to do it. He says it in this interview. And he made the best choice by actually changing something, even though I, I love Matu and um, I love They decided to get rid of Matumba Man, not because he's weak, but because they decided they needed change. So they replaced him with Weeha, another legendary player. However, ladies and gentlemen, remember this, the life's lesson that I taught you or told you before. What determines your fate in life is not how hard you hit, but how well you can take it and get back up. Now, Matumba Man is the prime example. Ladies and gentlemen, Matumba Man would go on to join Chaos Esports, a team that was full of nobodies, and he would not do so well. However, he persevered and he continued to play, find a team. He was looking for a team until the iconic puppy, the TI1 champion, who some believe to be the greatest Dota player ever, who some argue that he alone can dictate an entire year's worth of Dota. Yes, Team Secret's captain puppy decided to recruit Matumba Man, and Matumba Man would become Team Secret's go-to man hit their carry player. Matumba Man essentially replaced mid one. Now, unlike mid one, Matumba Man had been on the big stages already and he was not afraid of the moment. He did not shy away from it. He did not get scared. He never got scared. It wasn't ever that. After uh, Poppy approached me to play for Team Secret and I was thrilled. Uh, I felt like it's like, it's kind of my uh, second chance the liquid ended and then there was this chaos thing but wasn't really a thing this is my second chance now and you gotta make it count <laughs> yeah i'm a bit of a senior by now always thought i'm one of the fresher faces actually <laughs> but now i guess the fourth year is coming and uh after i uh got kicked quite frankly from liquid um I had this uh, feel. I didn't really know what to do, but after a couple of days, I was pretty certain I wanted to play TI. As we go on, we see the first big tournament 
in the year of 2020 when Team Secrets, m a t a m Man and Puppy, would go against head to head against Team Liquid, the new formed Liquid team, Team Nigma, Kuroki's new team with Miracle, Weeha, Mind Control, and GH. Now, the interesting part about this story is that is how well you get back up. You see, Matamba Man was still adjusting to the team's secret, especially towards Puppy's playstyle. He says in an interview that what I had to do was very similar to playing with Liquid, very similar to following the strategies imposed by my captain. I don't think there's much of a team dynamic difference in terms of strategy in Team Secret. Puppy handles a lot of the strategy that we're running, as in Kuroki did in Liquid. I mean, obviously, you have some say input in the strategy that we are running. There will be no difference how I acted in Liquid in terms of that. It's like there can't be too many cooks in the kitchen, so just let them do it. You know, Heen is great, Puppy is great. If they have good strategies, we all get. You know, I have to have full faith in him. You know, it's like if he has a strategy, I don't, I don't quite feel it. I have to try to feel it to uh, make it work too. So. If it ends up being bad, that's just life, you know. But at least we tried. So, in Team Secret, they have Puppy, who's their mastermind. They also have Heen, a legendary coach who actually helped Team Liquid in TI7. Now, Team Secret has a lot of the same formulas that TI7 champion team had. The only difference is really is Puppy, Puppy and Kuroki. Now, in the first tournament, this tournament right here, the We Play tournament. It would become a best of five series, and in fact, Team Liquid, led by Miracle and Weha, would defeat Matamba Man's new team, Team Secret. Now, in the finals, it would be three to two. It would be very close. It would be very, very close, and by the slight margin, Team Nigma would win. Now, pause and think about it. At this very moment, everyone in the world said. Team Liquid or Kuroki did the right thing. It was the right decision to kick Matamba Man and replace him because he was the weak link, and it showed in the finals. However, life didn't end there. This was just another thorn in Matamba's way. Just like any of us, when we have struggles, we try to escape or run back or turtle up. We try to hide from it, but Matamba didn't. He continued to play. He said, "I have to believe in my captain." And the coach, we have to. I have to believe in it, even if I don't believe it. I have to follow through no matter what. This is a very important trait of a carry player. A carry player has to just follow the strategy and perform, similar to what the Dota God does, Ana. Ana just listens to No Tail and Seb. That's all he did to win TI eight and nine. Now Matumba Man is the ideal person who's literally listening and does everything. The team requires. He carries his butt off, no matter what. Just like the way No Tail gets revenge on Fly, Matumba Man gets revenge on all the haters, all the doubters, including Nigma's captain Kuroki. Yes, Matumba Man gets his vengeance. Now it comes naturally, not out of pure hate, but by the way the world works. Because Matumba Man is such a nice guy, because everybody loves him. There's positive vibes around him, positive aura, and that translates directly into the performance of Team Secret, led by Carry Matumba. So Nigma, his former team, aka Liquid, would defeat Tumba Man's team, the New Secret. They would lose at the We Play Dota tournament. Then they would lose again by Nigma at We Save Charity Play. That was two tournaments where Matumba Man gets destroyed by his former team. But, ladies and gentlemen. In the following six tournaments, Matumba Man would shine like no other. This year would become Matumba Man's reckoning year, the year that he comes to shine in full fruition as the best carry of the year by far. Matumba Man would lead Team Secret to the We Played Pushka League Division One Grand Final Champion win. Right after that, a month later, at the Gamers Without Borders 2020, Matumba Man again would lead the team, Team Secret, to win the tournament. Again, following couple of days afterwards, at the OGA Dota Pit 2020 online, Matumba Man 
would destroy everyone and lead Team Secret. Again, ESL won Birmingham 2020. In June 7th, Matumba Man would help Team Secret 3-0 Team Alliance. Then, at the Blast Bounty Hunt, Team Secret would defeat Team OG in the Grand Finals 3-0. Not even No-Tail could do anything against Matumba Man and God's will. It was meant to be. All of the hate, all of the struggles against him, it didn't matter. Matumba Man was rising above. And finally, the latest tournament in June 28, 2020, Beyond Epic Europe and CIS tournament, it would be the time to get full vengeance, full circle. Matumba Man with Team Secret would 3-0 his former team in the Grand Finals. He would 3-0 Kuroki, Miracle, and the rest of the his former squad. Now, Matumba Man didn't do it out of pure hate. Again, we just want to reiterate that. He did it because he believed in his new team. He believed in playing his style of Dota. The way Puppy just believed in him. He said, hey, this is an exceptional carry. We require his play. He's very versatile. He can play heroes like Lone Druid. He can play random heroes out of the blue like Brood, Brood Mother and take over the game. He's a very solid laner, a very, very versatile pickup. And Matumba Man shows that this year was his year. His heroes were ideal in every tournament. Now, this goes to show the very final lesson. That despite all of life's struggles, despite all the bullshit that comes through, you can persevere, you can believe in yourself, you can believe in yourself no matter what. Even if your team gives up hope on you, even if your captain, your best friends give up on you, as long as you believe in yourself, your inner will will shine no matter what. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. This is Crystal's Chronicle. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more content.